I want to walk you through a really neat platform called Go Brunch, and I'm going to walk you through how I got this end result. But first, when you sign up for a Go Brunch account, you're going to see all these different spaces that you can create, and I selected the co-working space. And when you first enter a space, you have to pick your seat. You can turn this off for your guests in the future in the settings, and I'll show you that after this initial setup portion. What I love about Go Brunch is its ability to be fully customizable. Yo Girl is a Libra and I love a good aesthetic. So we can go in here and change the background as well as the two logos, or you could just remove the logos altogether. Right now I wanna show you something really cool though first, which is this dynamic mode, which is where you can chat to everyone in your room. Now, if I lost you, you can use this for multiple parts of your business or if you are a service-based business or you want to host presentations or you want to host a demonstration or QA. and I don't know about you, but when I'm presenting, I love when people are giving me high energy with different reactions and speaking. So I love that this chat is available, but not just the chat, the ability for people to react to the things that you're saying. And you don't always have to go into the settings. You can just click on your profile picture and access the different reactions there as well. You'll find everything you need to navigate the Go Brunch platform on this bottom panel here. I'm going to add a GIF, which is just a fun little spruce up to the meeting. A diva is a female version of a hustler, so I'm going to pick this bay GIF. Go Brunch makes it really easy to have this intimate work setting with your coworkers or your team members or your community members. So there's additional features that I absolutely love, which is this ability to share files directly into that chat that I showed you earlier. So when you click on this option, you can hit the plus and it's going to add a file straight into the chat where everyone can see it. This is such an amazing co-working feature because unlike Zoom, you don't have to drop it and drop a link, you can just upload it directly into the Go Brunch platform. And for further customization, you can also pick your profile picture or change it. And I like that you can change your name here as well, not just upon entry. Now, there is a refresh process after this, so it's one of those things if seats are limited, don't play around with this because you might lose your seat, right? But if you are setting your profile up and you want to change your angle. Sometimes I call myself a brand coach. Sometimes I call myself a brand manager. It really depends on my audience. I like that I can have that level of customization here as well. This is a part that completely sold me on this platform, which is the ability to customize the logo and the background. So before we do this, I'm going to make my own background into Canva, something that matches my brand. I love Canva's magic media feature. So I typed in a specific prompt that's specific to my brand to curate this image that I'm about to pull in here. And I actually made three rooms. This main conference room, CEO conference room, has two additional rooms attached to it. I'm going to show you how to link those rooms as well. So you have a couple options here. When you upload an image, that's another way to share what you're looking at. So this is probably a bad example because I'm actually uploading my backdrop. This isn't meant to be the backdrop, but I just want to show you that when you upload an image, you can change the size, you can move it around your virtual office space. But really what you want to do is click on this room and go to background and editor. And over on the this side, whatever side it might be left or right for you, you're going to see an option to add a background image. So you're going to see the image that I made in Canva and saved and pulled into Go Brunch here. Now, this part is really, really important. You can, well, important for me because like I said, I love a good aesthetic. <laughs> so you don't have to use the default template, right? You didn't see me go through all of the different templates that Go Brunch has. I want you to have some sense of curiosity. So I actually want you to sign up for account using the link in my bio and take a look at all the different rooms, but know that you can make your own. So this room in particular, I made custom. You can choose small room, big room, etc. But I made this have 
11 spaces because myself, I knew I would be taking one. So technically there's 10 seats available. If you have questions about this, Go Brunch has an amazing customer service team. And of course, if you're looking for an easy way to sign up, best way is honestly just to hit that link in my bio. But you can also reach out to me via DM. I'm at Jody Cadwards pretty much everywhere in social media, especially if you're looking to join the free communities that I have available for CEOs because my mission is to help you get seen and get paid. So you can see this room here, I have called the CEO conference room. Let's go ahead and build out another room following those same steps. So when you go to add another room, you're gonna go through the same process, go to your this room option, add the background, upload the photo, add your circles, place your circles there, right? We just did that really quickly, but the first time the learning curve, I gave myself about an hour just to play with this platform all together and you can even see the timestamp. So this is a voiceover, but the first time I went through this, I was really taking my time and clicking on everything because that is honestly the best way that you learn. I really like that you can customize a room names as well. So this is going to be an extension of my free community. This is going to be where I plan on hosting my master classes and my free trainings within Go Brunch. And then I have the Vision Vault, which is really great for mindset. I do a lot of mindset work with my community, but then also free activities such as maybe like a vision board planning party and a couple other things that I have for our free community curriculum outlined. So you can see I did it again for a third time. And if you move this, you might be like me and realize that you have some extra dots sitting there because once you hit save, you'll see the full scope of your room just as other people will see it. But those dots were hiding behind my little utility belt there. So again, I'm going through that process before I duplicate the circles I'm changing the color to something that's more on brand for my brand, but also more on brand for this room in particular. And then you can see I'm just hitting the duplicate and we are just gonna do that for all of the seats that I have. So this is the opening space. When you hit create, now let's go back into my spaces and you'll see that my three rooms are connected, right? Or you'll see that my main room is a CEO conference room and the two rooms I have underneath that can all be edited. So let's go ahead next and link them because they're not all linked together. But if this is confusing to you, think of your one space. My original space is a CEO conference room. And then I had two additional rooms coming off of that room that I wanted to connect together. So when I go into the this room option, it's pretty much a safe bet for you to assume anything you want to change about this room in particular is going to be under the this room option. So you can even do things like end and lock this room when you have some type of training going on. You can lock it so everyone is kicked out and no one can come back in. You can share your screen. You can pull up different apps. So I actually checked to see if ClickUp was on here yet and it's not. I love ClickUp and that's really where I house all of my business documents. So it's not here at the time of this recording. However, other features are. So if you use Miro or Docs or any part of the G Suite, you can see how easy it is to pull some of your projects in using that feature. So what you may have missed just now is where I just went ahead back into editing my room the same way I did when I want to add a background or add those circles and change the circle colors. And I added a navigation button. So here it's saying, where will this button link to? I want it to feel interactive. From the main room, I want you to be able to navigate to any room. Consider these like your breakout rooms. This feature is so cool, you guys. Like I, I am like super excited to just have meetings just to have meetings, not in a way that wastes your time, <laughs> but in a way that's like, come on in community because as of right now we're just kind of hanging out in a couple virtual spaces like over on my instagram or in my facebook group so this is a really wonderful on-brand way to spend more time with your community chat with your community and of course for those of you that have paid containers or paid programs or paid services things like that you can deliver on those services or deliver on your coaching in this intimate setting where it's not just zoom all the time, right? So the really, really cool thing about this is you can get pretty much anything that you want out of it. If you are currently using Zoom or Loom or any of those, Go Brunch actually 
replaces a lot of those. And if you didn't see earlier on that main page, you could see that I could share links to specific rooms. And what you're not seeing here is that you have the ability to schedule events and webinars and things like that and invite people into your room. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Go ahead and sign up for Go Brunch and let me know when you create a room. I would love to see it. I'm such a big believer in customization and having things on brand. It just makes this digital space that we're in feel a lot more customizable and personable to us. So I would love to know if Go Brunch is something that you plan on using for your business or your brand this year. And if you have any questions, please leave them down below.